Having chronic pain is the worst thing. You feel hopeless, depressed. Doctors can't seem to help you. The pain medication you take is expensive, maybe addictive, and it doesn't even really work that well. And nobody can see your pain. They just hear you complain about it, and maybe they're wondering, is it really that bad? There's a good chance that a doctor examined you and they can't really find anything wrong. Or that you had an injury, but that seems to have healed. So now they look at you like, you shouldn't be having this pain. It kind of sounds like they're saying it's your fault. Like you're making it up. Like anybody would ever do that to themselves. I want to give you hope right now. You can absolutely get free of this pain. It can happen without drugs or operations. This does not have to have to be the way you would relive the rest of your life. Most people, including doctors, have a very simplified understanding of pain. They think that injury causes pain, and that any pain without injury must be in your head. This is not the way pain works. Scientists have known since the mid-1960s that pain is only indirectly related to injury at best. For some reason, this knowledge never seems to be taken up or actually understood by the medical community. Maybe there's just too much money to be made selling prescription drugs. I don't know. The most recent research reveals that pain is created by the body and the unconscious mind working together. And the body and the unconscious mind are not even really two separate things. In a very real sense, the body is the unconscious mind. You can think with your hands, you can ride a bike, tie your shoes, jump up from your chair, drive all the way home, completely unconsciously. The body does all this thinking for you. And most people think that the nerves in the body are like the wiring in a house. You flip a switch and the electricity runs through a wire to the light and the light turns on. Like L.A. Crane said in his TED talk, the nervous system is not like that at all. It's a mesh of neurons and hormones and neurotransmitters entwined with other systems in the body, changing in response to sensory input, memories, emotions, unconscious thoughts, and other stimuli. And it can change and establish new connections as quickly as I can change my mind. It can also remember old connections and reuse them whenever it wants. And that's what happens with chronic pain. The body keeps reusing old pain pathways long after the damage is gone. Now, why would it do that? Why would it keep giving us pain? What evolutionary advantage could that possibly give us? Well, the body creates pain for one reason, to keep us away from danger. There's a rare condition called CIPA, C-I-P-A, where people are born with the inability to feel pain which may sound amazing to you right now, I know, but it's not good. Those kids rarely survive to adulthood. See, they never experience the pain that the rest of us feel that constantly keeps us from, from re-injuring ourselves. So as we grow, the body learns what's dangerous and it gives us pain to keep us away from that danger. And the body learns not just from getting injured, but also from seeing other people get injured and seeing other people's reaction to us when we get injured. Also from stuff we read or we've heard, from the stuff we believe about danger. The body makes no distinction between physical sensations and emotions and thoughts. They all produce electrical charges and cause hormones to be released. To the body, there's really no difference. It's kind of funny that Dr. Crane in his TED talk, he talked about the electrochemical part of the brain, but completely left out the role of the unconscious mind and all that it knows and believes. So when you, when you have chronic pain, your body's trying to keep you safe from something it considers extremely dangerous. I mean, who knows how it came to that conclusion? It's not always that logical. And there's a lot of possibilities. You may have gotten hurt and your body's so afraid that you're going to get hurt again that it's trying to keep you from moving at all or it might be trying to distract you from some emotion it considers life-threatening. It might be trying to slow you down to keep you from burning out or experiencing some kind of terrible disappointment. It might be trying to keep things going the way they've been going in the past because that seems safer than doing something new. I don't know. 
but your body does know. And that is the key to getting rid of this chronic pain that is just ruining your life. Pain hurts so bad, it's hard to believe, and maybe impossible to believe, I don't know, that the body is actually trying to help you by giving you this pain. It's like a very loyal but misguided friend that would rather beat you up than to let you drive home drunk, maybe. So as hard as it is to do this, it can really help you to start thinking about pain in this way. Each of us has many parts. We take on one role in front of a teacher, another in front of friends, maybe another with our pet. We have angry parts, we have happy parts, sad parts. Many people call these ego states or resource, state, resource states. And some parts are better at some things and other parts are better at other things. And you can imagine a part of you that is running this pain. It knows the other parts hate it, but it's gonna keep doing its job to keep you safe no matter what. And you may, say, you may think this sounds crazy. It does sound a little crazy, I know. But I want you to stop hurting. So if you wanna stop hurting, then listen to what I have to say. You don't even have to believe it. Just engage, just play the game. So stop fighting the pain just for a minute and think of it as a part of you that's trying to help. Go somewhere, you won't be disturbed for a while and just sit there with the pain. Just feel it. Get a sense of its shape, its color maybe, its outline. Is it smooth? Is it jagged? Pay some close attention to it. And then thank it. I know, I know. You hate it, you don't want to thank it. But just give it a break for one moment. Say, thank you for what you've been doing. And then ask it what its higher intention has been. And then listen very carefully to what it's trying to say. And this may take a while. Be ready for anything to pop into your head. Don't discount it, however strange. No matter what comes, it might be some memory, some picture, some sensation, and stay with it for a while. Be open to whatever comes. And this is easier with hypnosis, but you can do it yourself with a little practice. This exercise is kind of hypnotic in itself. And once you have an idea of what it's been trying to do, you have some choices. If it doesn't want you to be re-injured, you can let it know you got the message. You will take it slow. You don't need it to remind you anymore. You, you'll, you'll be careful. In other cases, you may have to deal with some trauma or some terrible memory you have from the past, whatever. But no matter what it is, gently ask that part of you if it would be willing to keep you safe in some other way that has nothing to do with pain. Maybe just a tingling sensation or some other warning that you promise you will pay attention to. So try this. And don't give up after the first go. Keep at it. You'll probably notice an immediate change in the pain. It may move to some other part of your body. It may go down. It might even get worse for a moment. And all those are good signs that you're getting close to the true cause. Don't give up. You can do it. If you like, you can also book an appointment with me you know, this is not some kind of popular YouTube channel with millions of views. And for the next few months, I'll take the first five people that contact me from this video each month, and I'll work with you completely for free. And you can do it completely online. You just have to tell other people with chronic pain how you got rid of yours. No, not really. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> I just want you to be free of this pain. So do this exercise and be open to being blown away. You can feel better right away. So good luck and let me know how you get on.